The winner, the NBA Rugby Speaker of the Year 2017 is... Kieran Bracken! And it's time for our very first speaker. One of the best looking rugby players of the late 80s and early 90s. <laughs> that was a funny bit, the real bit is genuinely one of the hardest men I ever played rugby with. Hard as nails, pleasure for me to welcome to the stage, Kieran Bracken. As Slats has said, very embarrassingly, uh, when I was younger I had lots of long curly locks and it was great, I got fan mail, and that all dried up as the years went by and my hair fell out. And turned into dancing and ice, and I got fan mail again and I've got it with me, and I hope it's not someone in the room going to read it to you. <laughs> Dear Kieran, I cried with joy when you were rightly crowned King of the Ice. I feel partly responsible having spent most of my benefit money voting for you. <laughs> True and take you for a spin on the ice. Over to be next to your muscular body. Funny. It's true. I enclose my number and eagerly await your call. And if you're wondering, I'm five foot ten, blonde hair, blue eyes, lots of love, Jeremy. <laughs> Picked to play against New Zealand in 2000, the second best team in the world. We're flying high. Austin's on the wing, I'm playing scrum half, Dawson's on the bed, Spence the way it should be. And on that day, <laughs> I walked into the tea room on the day of the match, that's the time that Clive gives his last speech. And Clive, when we sat in the middle, he's got the England team on one side, New Zealand team on the other side. He says, do you know what? I would not swap one of these players, England players, for one of these all Blacks players. I wouldn't swap Kieran Bracken for Justin Marshall. I wouldn't swap Lawrence Delalio for Tate Randell. And there's a little giggle in the corner of the room, it's Jason and he's laughing, and Clive says, but, Jason, what are you laughing at? So they're not being funny, right? I agree with you for 99% of the team. But do you not think you'd like to swap Austin Healy for that big bastard Joe Lebel? <laughs> anyway, we talked about the World Cup, you know, what was said. In that final moment, we're on the pitch, and at, you know, what was said at the end of extra time. And, and I'd like to refer to the World Cup, partly because Austin wasn't there, so it's pretty good. <laughs> so what was said at the end of full time, what was said? Clive Warren came down and said this bit, a few other people said their bit. And Mark Regan said he had to say something. That's come round me, I've got something to say. What we've got to do now, we've got to rise up like a pheasant from the flames. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, Mark, Mark, don't you get the feelings? Oh yeah, I knew it would be given an F. 